Hello everybody, it's Lynn. How are you all doing today? Welcome back to my channel for a new video. Uh, it's probably gonna be a little bit of a chatty one, but let's just settle down and have some fun and just dive right into it. So in my June vlog, I have footage of myself and my high school friends going out and digging up our time capsule that we had buried 10 years ago when we had all finished high school. And in that time capsule was a little question form about the future and our current selves, how we saw future selves. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun to take this little quiz again today and compare the answers and make a little video about it. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, please go see that vlog. It was, well, at least for me, filming it and editing it was very touching and sentimental. I got to see my old friends from high school and we we get got to open this box filled with memories and notes and drawings and inside jokes and we got to hang out and we it was very special. So if you need more details about what I'm about to do right now, go check out that video. This is uh, three pages long, so better get started, especially since, you know, improvised iku is a rambly iku. Let's get started. So, name, Len. Hi, hello. Wait, ha, I am lighter than what I used to be 10 years ago, but I was a little chubbier back then. Height, 1 meter 78 centimeters. I have not gained a single centimeter since... 10 years ago, at least I haven't shrunk. I, at least that's that's good. Uh, hair color. Well, I hadn't done anything to it 10 years ago, so it was its natural dark brown. This is my natural color. And 10 years later, I've been experimenting. I am very like very light blonde on top, and yeah, it, I need an entire video to explain what's happened with my hair lately. So let's just say this is my hair today. <laughs> Shoe size, well, you know I got big ass feet. I actually wrote 42, which is a European size. And I'd say today that I'm a 41. It's in that area, it depends. Bra size, well, I'm gonna keep that one to myself, mostly because I got new clue. Jean size, um, jean size, I'm a 36. T-shirt size, I'm an S, so that's different from what I used to be before. I used to be a 38, 40, and t-shirt, I used to be an M. Number of piercings, oh, it says ear piercing specifically, so ear piercings. I got three here, one, two, three, then one, two, three, four, five, so that makes eight only in the ears. I got other piercings, but it doesn't ask for it, and I wrote there that I had two, and I said, Boohoo, you'd better get some more. Ten years later, me. Hope I'm making you proud. If you want a tattoo, make a little drawing. So I drew, you can barely see what it is, so there's no point in me trying to show you, a heart, like a half filled heart, and also a bunch of straight lines. So it looks like, looks like I was like, I knew that 10 years later graphic tattoos were gonna be in, but I got neither of those tattoos. I have a lot of other tattoos, just not these ones. Actually, I was gonna say, I don't actually have any wrist tattoos. Yes, I, I do actually, I have one. So how did I used to do my makeup 10 years ago? Ooh, well, I've made a video about that actually. Like one of my old videos, I recreated my makeup look from my teenage years and it was hilarious. Uh, but long story short, it was a lot of eyeliner on the top, on the bottom, not raccoon eyes, but pretty close. Uh, so that was it, I think. Eyeliner, did I even did I even wear mascara? It says I wore mascara, but I'm trying to remember what brand I even had and it, nothing comes to me mind. Nothing comes to mind. So did I even wear mascara? I don't know. I also wrote a lip balm and that is true. I still, I'm still pretty much addicted to lip balm. I would love to wear lipstick. I should actually buy tinted lip balm. I would love, love to get lipstick, but my, it never holds on my lips. My lips are always chapped, which is strange because of the amount of lip balm I'm using. My lips are always chapped, but my makeup today is pretty much this. Do you have cavities. I was going to reply no to that one, but past me has written down that she has a tiny cavity, like so tiny that it's barely a cavity that it doesn't need 
to be drilled. I had forgotten about that. I, I don't even remember it. I don't even know where it is in my mouth, but I've had obviously dentist checkups since then and it hasn't been mentioned. So let's hope it won't resurface as a major tooth disaster. Forgotten about that. Now it gets juicy. Who do you love? I wrote, aha. <laughs> Then I named my group of friends with who I buried this uh, this quiz and also it says well the last person you had a crush on is this guy and it says I hope you still remember oh yeah I remember <laughs> my crushes were always ridiculous and dramatic I never got with that guy let me just say that. So let's answer this today. Who do I love? Bachi. Who do you hate in the entire world? And I wrote the name of a guy that I don't think I don't think deserved that much hate now that I look at it from a distance. I guess my ego must have been very bruised at the time. And I also wrote the name of a teacher who definitely deserved past me's hate and I still kind of hate him to his to this day maybe I should make like a story time about this teacher because he was a class a a-hole <laughs> now for this present time I it's hard to think like oh I actually hate this particular person it's more that I'm very angry against people against people I had to cut out of my life old relationships friends I don't like admitting that I hate someone, but I might actually hate these people. What are your favorite clothes? Wow, there's a big list of my favorite clothes back then. I don't own... Oh, I still have that one. And I wrote, I love clothes. And it's like I couldn't make up my mind because I kept adding them and adding them. I still love clothes. I love fashion, but it's actually kind of sad because I don't really invest in clothes that much anymore. I buy clothes because I need them. I buy clothes out of convenience more than anything else. And that's just how it has to be at the moment. So it's kind of sad. But yeah, my Ikka Tree t-shirt is super comfy. I love wearing it. Um, one, I thought of a tank top, my green tank top with a big strawberry on it because I really like strawberries. And I've had that one for years, like literally five or six years already. But I really like that one. I don't have anything that comes like at this forefront of my mind when it's like what's your favorite item of clothing um one day i'll go out and buy a few staple pieces just because i like them and not because i need like a sweater to keep warm in the winter or a thousand more pair of socks because the other ones have holes in it what is your biggest complex um uh, <laughs> that one made me laugh because i have the exact same complex as, as i had 10 years ago and i've managed to add a couple more <laughs> to the list. I thought it was the other way around. When you were a teenager, you, you're insecure about more things and as you grow older, you go wiser and you... Yeah, no, it's the other way around, looks like. I wrote down my love handles, yes. They were worse then, but they are still hit there. They're like... It looks like they're here to stay. And I also wrote my um, uneven nose. Now, I've kind of made peace with my nose. I know what it is. It's broken and sure i would like to get it fixed but not for aesthetic reasons more like for breathing i guess i've kind of made peace with that one i also wrote down my skin because yes my milia still hasn't gone away my under eye creasing because yes i'm getting older so we've got some some wrinkles appearing on this face <laughs> oh i wrote that my self-doubt is a complex my lack of of confidence and my shyness yes I guess so that's like from now not from 10 years ago I only wrote physical complexes 10 years ago but here I'm gonna say that my my shyness and my lack of confidence are really annoying and I would like for them to get a little better so on the other hand what are your assets and your skills and what you love about yourself all right um physically my eyes and kind of my legs i don't know why i'm reading myself like that i did not used to talk like that but i, I wrote like lol everywhere and like <laughs> i don't know the way i wrote was the way i used to think and it just kind of makes me cringe um 
I also wrote my imagination, my sensitivity, and my motivation. Those are good. I still like my eyes. I think they're a nice color. I'm enjoying seeing my budding muscles since I started going to the gym like a week over a, just over a year ago. My creativity, my art skills, my humor, my kindness. Okay, so 10 years ago, what job do you want to do? I wrote down, drum roll please, mangaka. Though I added right here after yeah, well, anyway, I think I'm gonna go in psychology Which I did and then I quit a few months after <laughs> And then went to art school to major in comics Well, the European version of comics, which I guess are graphic novels Kind of the definition of it, bande dessinée So I guess I'm not that far off from my ideal job from 10 years ago my dream job for now i just want to earn a living through illustration writing animating and filmmaking so 100 percent creative for sure what are your hobbies and your passions i wrote to draw to write play the piano which made me sad because i probably haven't played since then because my piano stayed at my mom's house because there's no room for it here and it's heavy as hell anyway so <laughs> but I do want to take it back up one day one day <laughs> okay so piano I wrote decorating and then I added I will kill you if you stop I have no clue what on earth I mean by decorating because I don't remember decorating anything my room I guess I used to do collages on my walls, is that what I mean? And what do I mean? I'll kill you if you stop, because I've clearly stopped, because I don't remember it. I also wrote, oh my god, cringe, um, going crazy, being stupid, usually by myself, lol, and um, a lot of art other artistic stuff on the computer, Photoshop, makeup, etc. Okay. I was 17 when I wrote, no, I was 16 when I wrote this. 16. And I sound 8. <laughs> what did I write for hobbies and passions today? Drawing traditionally and digitally, writing, filming, editing, makeup, photography, animation, daydreaming. Do you have pets? That is a big difference from this list I wrote 10 years ago to what I have now. You know I have one pet today. His name is Pachi. He's I don't know what he's doing. I'm not gonna read out all the names, but I can tell you that I had two dogs, four cats, two rabbits, two hens, two geese, two ducks, and two guinea pigs. I have a feeling we had more. Did more come after or did some of them die before? We had a lot of hens. Maybe we got more after, or maybe that was another time, I don't know. It's sad to think that all of those pets have passed away now, within the span of 10 years. And also, I guess that's the year where I got Betchy, who is not yet on the list. So I guess that a few months after I wrote this list, um, Betchy, oh, you can't see him. Oh no, there he is. <laughs> um, came into our lives. The country that you want to visit uh, more than anything in the world I wrote Japan obviously and also I wrote the States I've been to the States I think one year after I wrote this list and I've been to Japan last year finally because that was my dream destination and I want to go back as soon as possible so I guess I want to I kind of want to put Japan back at the top of my list even though I want to travel everywhere I'm in this traveling mood at the moment i want to visit everything but if i can't take japan i guess south korea is next on my list uh hong kong is on my list and iceland those are like on the top of my very long list of places i want to travel to your favorite brand i'm guessing clothes because i answered clothes but it could actually like be your favorite brand of cereal so i'm just gonna answer the same way i answered 10 years ago and i wrote i'll wear anything I guess you haven't changed because I, I don't have any favorite brands when it comes to clothes. I, 
I will wear anything as long as I like it. If it looks good, if it makes me feel good, I don't. I really don't care about the brand. Really don't. Favorite dish? I wrote down sweet. Everything. But it's even better if there's chocolate, banana, and marzipan. No clue what dessert I'm talking about here. If it's I'm talking about everything at the same time or separate. Um, and I wrote for the savory dish uh, one of my grandmother's recipe, which is a mushroom pate. Very good, very good. Um, to this day, I have no clue what my favorite dish is because I can eat anything. I love eating so much at the moment. It's embarrassing. I love pizza. I love. Japanese food, sushi, ramen. I want to eat pasta and burgers and salads and a lot of cake and desserts and ice cream and chocolate and I could literally eat anything. And if you can, if you ask me what's my favorite thing to eat today is, I'll tell you ice cream because I'm craving ice cream. But if you ask me tomorrow, it will probably be spinach tortellini. I don't know. Next question is. Do you have a boyfriend? If yes, what is his name? And I wrote capital letters, no, lol, damn it. <laughs> I remember being frustrated, like, damn it, why does no one want to go out with me? Aw, oh, poor 16 year old me. How many boyfriends have you had? It's funny because the names of boys I've written down I don't consider them as boyfriends. If I had to say how many boyfriends I've had today, I wouldn't put those names in my list. It's just like, you know, teenage stuff. For, for these guys, at least for me, it doesn't count. But I did add at the end of that list, like, yes, yeah, so uh, zero serious relationships. And I agree with that. Favorite cocktail 10 years ago was called Chi Chi's. I have no clue what that used to taste like. I remember it being red. That's just about it. These days though, what I'm really craving at the moment is a cocktail that my mom used to make and I used to have uh, a violet syrup, rum, Schweppes tonic I think, and lemon juice or l lime juice, one of the two and it was so good and refreshing and now that it's summer I really want to drink that again Did you have a particular addiction? I wrote chocolate, sugar, girl, same, sugar I'm so addicted to sugar it's not even funny anymore. I, I crave sugar all the time. I crave sugar so much that I have to stop myself from eating sugar for a period of time just to like get it out of my head because I get cranky if I don't get my sweet snack. So right now I'm enjoying fruit. I haven't had sugar for six days and it might not seem like very long but to me it's a friggin lifetime. I also wrote my crush's perfume. Oh my god. I'm intoxicated. I remember exactly what his perfume was. It wasn't that good. How do you see yourself in 10 years? <laughs> this is kind of this is kind of sad because I wrote hopefully um, have a diploma in psychology and be a little more uh, confident in myself. I also wrote down low again. Um, so. I dropped out of university and I don't think I'm more confident. What annoyed me the most this year? I wrote down oral exams, especially history. Word, I suck at oral exams still to this day. I, I get very nervous. And oh, how do I translate that? At the end of the school year, we have to give in, give back a big work project that we had to work on throughout the entire school year. So yeah, that was a big thing. I wrote down this year, toxic relationships and toxic friends. And yes, I did cut a lot of people out of my life. And it has resulted in me being alone a lot, which I also hate. It's also a big thing that I hate about this year. And uh, what else did I write? Oh, and the fact that I'm broke AF. Yeah, definitely, definitely annoying. <laughs> Favorite series of the moment, 10 years ago, House. Desperate Housewives, Friends, ER, Prison Break. I only watched one season of Prison Break, what the hell? Ugly Betty, Ally McBeal, and all the animes, of course. Yeah, they're, they're, House is they're still definitely one of my favorites. Friends, yeah. The other ones, not so much anymore. What's the make of your phone and of your MP3 player? 
Kids, back in the day, you had a cell phone and an MP3 player. It was an only one. But to this day, I still have a phone and an MP3 player. Back then, I used to have the LG Chocolate, which was fine for a while and it completely died. It didn't last very long. And I had an iPod Classic Grey, which is the same one I use today. Wow, an Apple product that lasted 10 years. How is that even possible? Back then, a song that describes you, I wrote, mm, at this point in my life, plays Pretty for Baby by Zoloff the Rock and Roll is I have no clue how that song described me. But my favorite songs I wrote down, it changes every week. Same, same, same. There's some Paramore, Seosin, I used to love Seosin, MSI, <laughs> AV Attic, Imogen Heap, Arctic Monkeys. Yeah, pretty much what I used to listen to. This is such a 2008 question. Your favorite internet sites, your favorite websites. Um, I wrote YouTube, Facebook, and <laughs> Skyblog. Ha! <laughs> blog and ultra cringe the Stephanie Mayer website Stephanie Mayer is the author of Twilight and this was before the movies came out at that time 2008 I remember loving the Twilight book so much and going on the Stephanie Mayer website to see if she had written a new post because I loved her updates and writing about stuff and her music choices and I still have the same phone number as 10 years ago. I have a different email address, thank goodness. I don't live in the same town. I live in Brussels now. There's a question here that says, do you want to say something else? I'm with Danielle right now. Lol, um, I'm still hungry. I got stung by a vicious metal walking the dogs. Yesterday was Paola's birthday party. So fun, yay. See you in 10 years. Also, there's a thing that says, what's going through your head now and I wrote yay I passed graduating and basically it's like this tiny section that we had to fill in right before um, putting this into the box so that's really sweet and what's going through my head right now is oh my god this video is so long how the hell am I gonna edit this and also oh my god I'm supposed to be streaming right now I don't know how late it is but I'm probably very late to my stream my own live stream I better go so yeah this was super chatty I'm so sorry if you stuck with me in one sitting through this video congratulations that was me 10 years ago and that is me now and i hope i can watch back 10 years later and be like what on earth is this person is that was that really me okay well future me not 10 years later future me but future me good luck editing this together and thank you guys for watching and see you very soon in another video bye l word you all <laughs>